Welcome back to Soggy Bottom Homestead. I'm Dawn. We are doing a vegetable mixture. Potatoes, carrots, and green beans. The potatoes and the carrots I've jarred. There are two 32 ounce potatoes and one 32 ounce carrots and two cans of green beans with salt-free vegetable seasoning. And our pan has been in the oven. It's sizzling hot minced onions. They just go with a head butter in it first, just a little bit. Minced onions go in the bottom. And then our vegetable mixture goes in next. Vegetable mixture is in the hot cast iron skillet. I'm going to do some extra onions on top. Now this will go in the oven 350 degrees. Stir occasionally until desired how hot you want it. We'll put some more vegetable seasoning on top too. Don't forget to put your lid on for at least the first 20 minutes and then turn and then I would do it an additional 20 minutes until you have it as warm as you want it. Very, very hot, 350 degrees cast iron pan. Let's see what it looks like. I'm only mentioning that so you don't accidentally do it like I've done in the past. You can take this off and then reach for the handle. Leave your pad on there. Too bad you guys can't smell it. It smells delicious. I'm just gonna kind of turn them just a little bit. There we go. That's all I wanted to do was just turn them around. Okay. It's going back in for another 20. This is from some of our canning that was done 1022. I'm going to see if I can open this one handed so you guys can hear what it should sound like. Like so. Do it again. That sound? That's what you want to hear when you open your new ca your canning jars. It doesn't look super great, but I guarantee it tastes delicious. I take off the extra fat and then I put it in my skillet, and all it has to do is heat up to your desired temperature. Now here it is in the pan. Now all we're gonna do is heat this up tonight, but you could make a chunky chili. You could put it, heat it up and put it over rice, over potatoes. You could put it in a, a, a stew recipe. You could do all kinds of things with this. That's really nice to can meat because it cuts down your cooking time drastically. Here it is, all heated up. Now, as you can see, it kind of breaks down, which is fine, especially if you're gonna put it on top of potatoes or something like that. As well as, what I'm gonna do with this, I've decided is to drain the extra juice off. And this is our homemade low sodium barbecue sauce. A double batch makes three 16 ounce or three pint jars. Let's take a look. Again, I'm going to remind everybody, put your hot pad over your handle and make sure there's one on your lid. Awesome. I'm going to say that they're plenty hot. We're going to get started plating this up and I'll 
Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe, ring that bell and like. Comments, questions, all that stuff in the comment section below. God bless and stay safe.